we're going to dig into the differences between the Noctua NHD15 G2 versus the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. In this video, we're going to cover the key differences in looks, installation, and then jump into the performance. This video has three giveaway entry codes, so see the links in the description below for more details on the monthly giveaway. These two high-performing coolers both feature dual towers. However, the Noctua NHD15 G2 is a monstrosity with a width of over 150 millimeters, while the Phantom Spirit offers a much smaller footprint at 120 millimeters. They both feature minimalist designs. However, the Noctua has brown accents, while the Phantom Spirit has black accents. In regards to insulation, both coolers feature a similar installation process. However, the Noctua NHD15 G2 is a much larger size, and this aspect can pose a challenge depending on your setup. More details on the Noctua's installation process can be found in the link above. We know you're here to see how these two coolers differ in terms of performance, so let's dig into it. We've tested both coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Noctua NHD15 G2 in blue has slightly better performance across the board relative to the Phantom Spirit 120 SE in red. As we increase the watts to 105 watts, we can observe that the Noctua's improvement grows at the lower RPMs, but this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 100% fan speed. Additionally, the Noctua cooler is noticeably louder after 60% fan speed. When we push the CPU to overclock levels of 130 watts, we can see that this trend holds. Next, we'll look at the noise normalized charts, but don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the Noctua has a slight advantage across all noise levels. As we increase the wattage to 105, we can see that this gap narrows with similar performance observed at comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this relationship holds. And if you're curious on how the Noctua NHD15 G2 compares to the first generation Noctua NHD15, you should check out this video comparing these two. 